I'm scared. What is this? A candlestick? I could definitely use that as self-defense, so... Whoa! What? It did ass just levitated. Like Dua Lipa. I'm levitating. Um, can I use this as a weapon now? Or nah? That's a nah. I don't know why, because that would be a great, a great weapon to use for defense. Like, damn, look at the bathroom. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? Should. Should you? But should I? Yeah, I should. No, I don't. I'm scared. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything at all. I just want to be with my sister. Who if is this? knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. But question is, do you really think the captain knew? What the hell is this? Ooh, it's a good thing I went back to this room. Uh, is that whiskey? Tequila? Probably not much of a practice with the preach kind of guy. Hmm. Get out. Holy shit! Holy shit. Okay, this room. This room has so much bad juju. So much bad juju. Can I not go forward? Okay, I guess I am destined to go beyond that door over there. As if I actually want to. Oh my god. Let's go. <clears throat> it broke. What? Well, Alright. So how do I pry the son of a bitch open? Can I, I push it? something to pry the door open. Okay, so, hmm, I don't know what to do, like, dead ass. The fact that I'm so determined to open up that door, it's like, do I really want to at this point? The candlestick? Would that work? It's got some half at least. Enough for the door. Okay. I am so scared. It's like I don't. <gasps> it's her. Holy shit. Oh my god, please. Why is that lady stalking him? Please leave him alone. Come on, man. Oh, shit. Woo! Come on, man. Come on. You got this. Oh, shit. She's here. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. We Come on, man. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Why is she... Why is she harassing him? Of all people. Why can't you harass the pirates? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, uh, 
I would run. I would run. Run! There you go. There you go, big boy. Run. Because, honestly, there's no way for me to hide, so... Where are you? Yo! Why is she... Yo! Why is she trying so hard to get him? Come on! Come on, please! I want him to survive. I don't care that he's like the douchebag of the group. Please survive. I need you to survive. Fuck! Alright, he is officially out of the boat. That's fantastic. Shit, how is she still following him, bro? Wow, she's decaying. Fuck. There's no- Oh, and he's putting himself in the fucking corner. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck it, come front. I ain't jumping. Dear Lord, please. Oh, thank God. Thank God I confronted. I am so happy I confronted. Get the hell out of me. Oh my god. Yeah, we we need to find the others. yeah, let's go. Just imagine if I jumped. Why can't the ghost lady chase the pirate guy? Like, why was she harassing Connie to begin with? That shit pissed me off. Fuck. He's here. What's the matter, Dreamboat? Don't shut up me anymore. Shit. Run, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get up the stairs. You better not fucking trip. I'm gonna be pissed at you. Yo, he's right behind you guys. Jump. Jump. Because he already saw you. Jump. There you go. Come on, man. There you go. Keep going. Why are you standing there, bro? Come on. Oh my god. Come on. We got to get somewhere safe. I am so happy I kept going. And I'm glad everyone's together, thank God. Are we good here? I don't We're know, good, are I you? Think. Oh shit. Oh, that hello. Hi. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? 
yeah, ghosts and booze and boogeymans and shit. Don't like it at all. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop huh. it? How to uh, save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? I don't know, but you I've will, been doing a good I job hope. so far. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Yeah, obviously. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Okay. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Hmm. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Wait, what do you mean? I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What's wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no. No, come on, that's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's Tell just me stay about calm it. and relatively sane about this, okay? Easy for the you to say. I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, and they were bodies, they were dead, but then... They came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy and like dinosaur old. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, that never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just, Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Fuck the gold. <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I was gonna say the same thing. What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. And musty, crusty, dusty. I was thinking I was gonna say this place is like one real bad trip, but then I guess I just did already say that. Or wait, did I say it yet? Crap. I like how this girl has all the lines, like why? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it, that's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. After all these years, right? Why not try? I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. First of all, is there anything I can click on? Totally effed. No. Sorry, Julie, I didn't mean to push you like that. All right, so there's nothing for me to check, so... At least we're all outside, and at least we're safe. That's what I'm pretty happy about. Whoa. Amazing. 
A shell casting round near a gun on the ship. The gun had been fired. Gunners are firing at something. So something did happen even on the main deck. This is so crazy. Like... Julia, I would suggest keep up with the group, please. I don't want you to disappear or get hurt. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. I mean, we're talking what... If this is in the 40s... 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2010, 20... This would be like a good 80 years ago. Yeah, this is like a good 80 years ago, so of course the ships won't work. Um, okay, I see the sexy the captain up. here. Sadly, Looks no, good. but I'll keep my eyes open. Cool. What's, uh, ooh, what's this? Oh god, I have to open up a door. Oh, yeah. Wait, I want to read. What are you doing? Alex, get that fucking paper. Damn, I want to read, bro. I'm all about reading. <clears throat> Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the facility. Hold your breath. You know, if you tell someone not to panic, they're gonna panic, so... Number one sucks. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first. Then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumble around your face. If the mask does not crumble, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure. Blah, sorry. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug. Then repeat the process above until the mask cr crumbles to ensure they are no leaks. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous. A memo instructing someone to issue gas masks to any soldiers working with chemicals and cargo. There must have been a risk of a gas leak with the cargo. Cargo. You know what? I'm not finished reading, okay? I'm all about reading, so let me finish up. Come on. Let go of the hose. You may now breathe as you normally would. Replace any headwear and close the carrier bag. You may now remove your mask only when you are told it is safe and instructed to do so. Prize the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply, and pushing any potentially trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask and flexible corrugated hose into the carrier bag as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it is no longer required by unfastening the belt and shoulder sling. Gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak, which in this case, the guy is wearing a mask, so there was a leak somewhere. Huh. All right, let's go up. Hey, little bro. Damn. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. 
Damn, Captain, you know, you lift up Alex? He's strong as hell. You know what? I need a woman like you, Captain. I'll pull you up. In fact, I have a woman like that. My work wife. My work wife is just like this captain. Courageous. Brave. Sexy. Big dick energy. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god. Anyways, let's see how we're gonna manage to get to the radio tower. I really hope it works, because if not, I'm gonna be pissed off. Okay, can I go this way? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let me see. Oh, no, I don't want to go this way. Sorry, my bad. That's what happens when you're trying to be nosy. Dude, Connie, let's go. This is where I chased Gunrise before. Huh. Really? I, I thought it looked familiar. Over no. here! Got a way through here. You think this is the right door? Oh lord, please. I don't want no boogeyman in here. I like how everyone just stands there watching Alex struggle. Like, fucking assholes. <sighs> Shit. Okay, so we're in and everyone immediately dips. Like, what the fuck? And also, there's a hole here. I'm good. Okay, cool. Let me see here. Logbook. Last log shows him caught in a storm. Okay, so A, swell from the wheat. Waves 20 feet. No damage reported. 20 feet waves. What the hell? PM weather continues to deteriorate, as does forecast. Crew bearing up. AM wind at storm force, gaining strength. Weather is exceptional, with severe lightning strikes hitting OM, but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water, but it is under control. Navigator, port, sea, bed, death, readable. Okay, my bad. Ooh, secret. The ship's logbook shows that the name of the ship starts with the word Aurang. Operational logs for S's Aurang. AM sea going down, noon thick fog, PM increasing head PM, AM 7.30, fog very thick, midnight PM, dense fog continues, damn, so they're sailing over some thick fog, crazy. Let me see what else I can find. Uh, I don't want to open that door just yet, so I'm just looking around. Ew, another dead body! My goodness. Oof. So there are two possible doors. Ooh. Premonition? Yeah, that one really sucks, seeing someone kill themselves like that, like... Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. Okay, so I know Julia is standing well, around, but... About our chances of survival at this point. Alright, I'm gonna open up that door over there, see if there's anything for me to try out. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I don't need to open that door or whatever. What about the other door? Okay, that's cool. I guess I don't need to open that door. Are you okay, baby? It's okay, I got you. I'm here. 
Ooh, hello, Captain. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. A map showing the origin and destination of the ship. It was sailing from the Republic of China to San Francisco. Ooh, a letter. A navigator's notebook describing events during the ship's voyage. A storm had blown the ship off course. Ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. So this is the notes of the United States Department of the Navy. 22 June. Heavy storm blown off course. Report of hold too flooded. Excessive lightning strikes. Adrift in shallow waters. Location unknown. Seabed deaf believed uncharted. Unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. Heavy cloud cover. As yet unable to establish location. Yeah, they were definitely lost at sea because of this, which sucked. All right, let's go through the store. Ew, another dead body. Yeah, that's gross. Thank this, you, this Alice. This sucker did it right in the middle of his message. Radio operations. Mayday, call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent. Attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Mm. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. A radio operator's note from the ship. The operator had made intermediate radio contact to broadcast a final mayday call. Wait a minute. I think this is the same operator that we saw at the beginning of the game where he died right then and there. Oh, poor bastard, bro. Take a look. No freaking way. It works. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power, I'll give it a whirl. Hmm, I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Yeah, let's say the coordinates. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please get here now, we need help. Shit. Uh. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello, hello, is anyone out there? Please come in. Oh, now I want to die. Oh shit, the lights. Find the generator to restore Yo, power guys, to the radio. Check it out. Should we? We're gonna need to get in, huh? Oh. This Lord. has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. No, nah, well, bro, I'm good. I'll do it. I got, I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. No, my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Oh. Whoa, whoa. 
If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Okay. Case closed. Okay, All Captain. Right. I see you. Give it me, Julia. Going down together as a couple. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.